Hello, you're watching a walkthrough video for SEO Content Machine. Today I'm going to go through some of the major features of this program as well as demo you the article creator. So on the left hand side is our application menu. You can see we have AI powered content tools. We have the article creator, which is a bulk content creation tool. We have our AI writer, which is what you want to use to write one single piece of very well SEO optimized content. So both of these tools have AI access. We have scrapers that allow you to scrape websites. We have the dynamic page, which is just a browser based scraper which supports JavaScript. You can scrape search and news. There is a Wayback scraper so you can download data that's no longer available online. As we move further down, you'll see we have a Google Maps data scraper as well as an image scraper and YouTube video scraping tool. Moving down we have the tools menu and the important tool here is the upload WordPress post tool and this is just a simple way for you to take all the content you created using the article creator and to post that online to your WordPress blog. If you are using something such as Blogger you may be interested in our email post tool and what this does is takes your posts and emails them to Blogger. Blogger doesn't have an API but you can email posts in. And then we have our settings menu and the most important setting here is the API logins. So as you can see, SEO Content Machine integrates with a bunch of different third-party tools already. We have a whole bunch of rewriters that you can use, such as Word AI, SpinAchieve. We have translator support, so all the big names are here. We have some other services you can use, such as Article Forge for content. There is Pexels API support, so you can download free images. And the most important section here is the AI section where you can bring your own API key such as for OpenAI which also means you can set your own model here and also Google Gemini and we'll add support for more AI tools as they come out. So demoing the article creator, I'm just going to click here on new article creator. As this is a demo account, it's pre-filled out my keyword which for today is going to be what is green tea. Our generators, so you have AI content, you have scraped content, you can use your articles that already exist on your hard drive and just insert new content into them and we have article forward support too. So today I'm going to demo the AI content creator and here is the default prompt it loads in with but here I'm going to show you something more interesting. So the test prompt is actually using a more dynamic AI prompt generator. So what this means is that you'll see here it's showing PAA underscore question which means people also ask question. So what this tool is doing is it's going to Google scraping Google's people also ask and then finding a bunch of question answers and now it's using one of those questions to create entirely new content. So instead of just very static prompts which you write in now you can use other more dynamic things such as you can use scrape titles and paragraphs, sentences, in addition to also generating AI content, you can insert scraped content. So you can select how many paragraphs of that content you want inside there, which moves us neatly to the rewriter section. If you want to keep your scraped content unique, you can apply a rewriter. There are a bunch of free and paid rewriters here. A fun one here is the AI writer, which means you can take scraped content and make it original by putting it and sending it to OpenAI to rewrite the content for you. We have translators, so you can translate your content. We are using Google Search today because we want the people also ask. Here are your task settings, which I'm going to leave at default. Now the next tab is the inserts tab. So you can see a list here of all the things you can insert into your article. So there's a few. So you can search your own links if you want an image. So let's go with one image today. And I'm going to use Pexels because I have the API key inside there. You can also insert people also ask because we're scraping Google. So I'm going to insert one of those two and moving down the list there are other inserts available such as headings, lists, you can insert Google Maps, there are Johnson LD structured data, you can insert tokens, arbitrary HTML, JavaScript, article forge, if you have your own custom content you want to insert such as footers, example, you can do that. So going back to settings, just verifying that I'm in the correct region and I'm targeting English. Now I just click run and the task will start. With my task selected, it shows the 
article task log and in here you can see the steps it's taking to create your content. So keeping an eye on this task log is a good way of seeing what exactly it's doing. For example, I can verify it's actually searching for people also ask here. If there are any errors, the task log is also where you can debug any problems. Okay, so I took a bit of a cut there to skip over the article generation steps. But looking over the task log, you can see it's going to the OpenAI service and it's sending prompts. And one of the dynamic prompts is it's found this question from Google. What is green tea made of? And it's put that and generated a prompt that is getting sent to the AI right to create content. Okay, now that the task is completed, I can verify what it's written by going to preview articles. You can see this is the question that was provided from Google people also ask. And what you see here is the answer that the AI writer gave and it's provided an image and this image is from the Pixels API. If you have any questions about any of the features presented here, please feel free to send me an email via our contact page, seocontentmachine.com. Thank you.